Long-billed curlews and marbled godwits, the largest of our shorebirds, flocked to coastal areas during fall migration from the marshy grasslands where they nested. Today they're sharing space with willets and black-bellied plovers, but the curlews and godwits dominate, not only because of their height, but especially because of those beaks. Shall we call them Cyrano de Bergerac birds? Well, maybe not, because Cyrano was touchy about his beak. God helped the man so much as smiled at it. Like him, these birds have beaks that arrive everywhere a quarter of an hour before they do. They have a peninsula for a bill. Their beaks could provide a perching place for songbirds. And yet these shorebirds suffer none of Cyrano's sensitivity. They appreciate their appendages plunging their swords as deep as ever Cyrano did, but with the propulsion of a jackhammer. He's after crabs hiding in tunnels in the mud flats. The curlew has a decurved beak. The godwit has an upcurved one. Both bills are skewers and tongs. More all-purpose chef's tools than weapons. Well, sometimes weapons, sort of. I mean, even Cyrano couldn't use his beak in a crowd to create enough space for his nose. 